In this Tobacco University video, we're going to look at a slightly different spin on outdoor production of cannabis looking at being, having it being grown in containers. All right, let's get into growing cannabis outdoors in containers. So first off, this is similar to direct soil planting, but of course, a little different. Planting cannabis into containers is common for indoor applications, but it is gaining popularity with outdoor growers as well. So why is this trend kind of occurring? Well, this is part because growers have greater control over what the plants are growing in. Better control over the substrate here because you're gonna be putting it into those specific containers. Also, with the increase in fabric pot containers popularity, these have become more cost effective and are able to be utilized by more growers, as we see in the picture right here. Now, the process is basically the same as planting in soil, but there's a little bit more initial work to kind of fill the containers up with your chosen substrate. Now, container planting's advantages is that if the soil is not conducive for plant production, containers make a great alternative to be able to use a field that would otherwise not be profitable. Weeding is often reduced as well. As we can see here, plants can also be staged in a cold frame, uh, able to push them, get them bigger, a little bit bigger a little earlier in the season. When we talk about weeding reduced, here we see some uh, stone being utilized. You could also use greenhouse grade weed block as well to eliminate any weeds growing in the pathways. There, of course, will be some weeds to kind of take out of the containers, but you're definitely reducing your overall area. Also, the growing substrate is under more exact control of the grower, and even though you can amend the soil, here you're able to amend ahead of time and maybe purchase spe specific substrate to fill the containers with. Now, however, there also are some disadvantages. And the first one being, of course, the initial cost, uh, looking at the containers, uh, the time and labor it takes to fill those containers, and the use of an irrigation system or you could go through hand watering. In that case, a disadvantage would be the time it would take to go through and water the area. So let's look at this field kind of from a field perspective uh, to give you a little bit more information and relate it a little bit better to a field application of growing cannabis outdoors, but in containers. So we're looking here at the soil, looking at a very dry surface. As you dig down, there is a lot of water just below the surface. In addition, of course, to everyone's favorite rocks, which makes it just a difficult area to grow in. Uh, despite being all clear cut and access to the sun, this grower decided to take the leap and still grow in the field, but grow in a way that might be a little more unique. Decided to grow in grow bags uh, on a large scale, over a thousand here. So it makes it uh, great to be able to control conditions and doesn't have to deal with all of the soil issues. Plants were started in the soil initially, but then noticed that they weren't doing so well. So the transition was made. And since being transplanted, the plants have definitely responded in a positive manner, which is great to see. Uh, the only downfall with kind of making this adjustment later in the season is that they are having to resort to hand watering. So it's a very laborious task with a thousand, over a thousand plants here that can take upwards of two to three hours. Uh, so that's just important to keep in mind when you are going through and making a change like that uh, to keep in mind that the plants still need their water and now they're going to be dependent on you for that water. But there are plans to kind of go through and automate this. Uh, so there's always room for improvement and adjustments. And when the plants respond, it makes it that much more enjoyable and that much more uh, apt to kind of put the time in to ensure that they're happy. Because when the plants are happy, it always seems like the growers are happy. Okay, so if you're having challenges growing in the field, well, this is another way you can grow in the field, but have a little bit more control over your conditions. Here we see a bunch of these grow bags here. We have the cannabis plants growing in grow bags, all nicely lined up to make it easy to walk through. Uh, in field application here, we've got a lot of access to natural sun, which is great. Uh, the soil can be amended. It can be uh, very specific on what you put in here. Looking at approximately five gallons or so volume of soil here. And looking at in total, this area is over a thousand plants. So there's a lot of labor that goes into that. But when you have control over that, it can help improve your yields, uh, which is well worth it than trying to grow in soil that you're just not going to get the yields from. So this is just an example of how growers can kind of work with what they've got and make adjustments to help improve that yield in the long run. 
So when we're looking at why a grower may go to grow bags, well, this is a perfect example here, seeing this giant large rock indicating so it's removed from the field and this field is very rocky. In addition, uh, after clear cutting, it can be very tough to kind of grow in soil after plants, uh, trees have been in there for a number of years. But we're also looking at some of the plants and that can help give us an indication of the natural plants of what would want to grow here. And we see a lot of ferns. Ferns indicate probably a lot of shade. In addition, we have some rutting that went on with the equipment uh, in this general area here. Okay, the soil is very wet. Near me, on this other side, we can see that there is a stream. So if I pan around this way, near me here in the backdrop here, we can see a stream that is running by. So this is again an indication that this soil is probably going to retain a lot of moisture, which is going to be great during a dry year, but make it a challenge to grow plants in, especially when that water might be so close to the surface. It could be a challenge to get roots to be able to breathe. So when we have all these conditions, and the grower did try to put the plants in the soil initially, let's pan around here, well, they noticed that they had struggled quite a bit. So seeing them struggle at that point, it was justified to be able to kind of go through and plant this large planting uh, with grow bags to take advantage of the area that had been cleared for access to sun but that limited the amount that they could get based on soil. So this gave the grower control over what was in the soil uh, and ultimate control over plant performance. So a lot of people may consider grow bags to be a smaller operation where you're trying to grow in a grow tent, uh, but this just shows how you can grow in a large field application with grow bags if you're willing to supply some of the labor and to go through the work to set it up. And is it justified? Here, we're looking at the soil type, justified growing in grow bags. You can see the plants are doing well. This again just shows a large area uh, that can be planted in grow bags. If you can justify it, the labor. Uh, you can see the plants can do quite well. They're establishing themselves nicely. Grower has control over what goes into that soil there, and adjustments can be made.